It is located to 40 km to the south of the Australian mainland, separated from it by the Bay Strait. The state encompasses the main island of Tasmania, the 26th largest island in the world, and the surrounding Thousand Islands. Almost half of Tasmania's land mass lies in national parks and world heritage areas, with sparkling alpine lakes, wild rivers, and mist-cloaked peaks. If you're looking for a unique way to arrive on the island, you can travel from Melbourne to Davenport by sea on the Spirit of Tasmania. Best of all, you can bring your car with you. If you choose this option, check out a Tasmania attractions map and routes for road trip. Whichever type of vacation you're looking for, plan your trip with our video of the top tourist attractions and things to do in Tasmania. Before we get started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss our new upcoming videos. Number 1. Cradle Mountain Lake St. Clair National Park In the north of the Tasmanian Wilderness World Heritage Area, Cradle Mountain Lake St. Clair National Park is the jewel in the crown of the state's many natural wonders. Glacier-carved crags, glittering lakes, beach forests, alpine heathland, and jagged dolerite peaks, including 1,600-meter high mount also the highest point on the island, are some of its most breathtaking features. Hiking in Cradle Mountain Lake St. Clair National Park is legendary. Favorite day walks include the Lake Dove Walk, with magnificent views of Cradle Mountain, and the Wind River Walk, a six-kilometer circuit through dense forests. If you're wondering what to do in Tasmania for a week, a hiking trip here could more than fill your days. Number 2. Hobart Tasmania's capital has transformed itself from a sleepy backwater with a turbulent convict history to a hub of cutting-edge culture. Its beautiful setting between the sea and the soaring peak of Mount Wellington has, no doubt, inspired many of its talented artists in all genres. The city's waterfront precinct buzzes with hip cafes and restaurants, and you can eat around the world on the restaurant strip in North Hobart. Natural attractions are also never far away from the city bus. Climb Cunany slash Mount Wellington to really appreciate Hobart's picturesque setting, and gaze out at the World Heritage Wilderness in the distance. Number 3. Port Arthur Historic Site the old convict settlement of Port Arthur offers a sobering look at Tasmania's turbulent past. About an hour's drive southeast of Hobart, the ruins are part of the Australian convict site's World Heritage property. Here, in 1830, Governor Sir George Arthur established a brutal penal settlement where convicts were forced to hew coal in the mines and fell timber. In spite of a devastating fire in 1897, the remains of many buildings still stand including the guard tower, church, model prison, and hospital. Admission tickets give you two days to explore all the attractions here, and they also include an introductory walking tour and 25-minute harbor cruise. Number 4. Mount Wellington 1270 meter high Mount Wellington is a constant reminder of the unspoiled wilderness that lies on the doorstep of this waterfront capital. Follow a winding 21-kilometer mountain road to the pinnacle, often sprinkled with snow, for breathtaking views over Hobart. At the summit, boardwalks lead to panoramic viewpoints, and a pavilion displays old photographs of Hobart and Mount Wellington. The mountain is a popular spot for biking and hiking through the temperate rainforests, and the distinctive organ pipes, the Dolrite Cliff, is renowned for its excellent rock climbing. Standing atop the summit and admiring the sweeping views is one of the best free things to do in Tasmania. Number 5. Tasman National Park On the Windlash Tasman Peninsula, 56 kilometers east of Hobart, Tasman National Park protects some of Australia's most spectacular coastal scenery. If you look at a map of Tasmania, this park cloaks the far southeast tip of the state, with nothing but ocean between here and Antarctica. It's a place of raw beauty. Towering Dolrite cliffs plunge 300 meters to the sea, islands shimmer just offshore. Waterfalls tumble to the sea, and contorted rock formations wear the relentless forces of wind and water. The Blowell and Tasman Arch are two of the park's most famous features. Other top sites include Remarkable Cave, Waterfall Bay, and the Devil's Kitchen, a collapsed rock arch. Wildlife also scores top billing here. Apart from many species of rare birds, the area plays host to Australian fur seals, dolphins, 
A popular way to explore this stunning national park is by hiking the Three Capes Track. You can also explore some of the top attractions by car, or hop aboard a boat to glimpse the soaring cliffs from sea level, or cast a line. Fishing can be excellent here. Number 6. Cataract Gorge A mere 15 minute stroll along the river from Launceston city center. The wild and romantic Cataract Gorge is a deep chasm carved over many centuries by the South Esk River. Offering striking scenery, the gorge is one of the top attractions in Launceston. Precipitous walking paths, first built in the 1890s, cut into the cliff face on both sides of the gorge, offering heart-stopping views of the river far below. The less adventurous can hop aboard the world's longest single-span chairlift, and the King's Bridge and Gorge Restaurant also afford fine views. On the south side, you can relax at a cafe and paddle in the bush fringe swimming pool. At cliff grounds on the northern side lies a beautiful Victorian garden replete with ferns, strutting peacocks, and wallabies. River cruises offer another perspective of this popular attraction. If you're looking for things to do in northern Tasmania, Cataract Gorge deserves a spot on your travel priorities. Number 7. Richmond Bridge About 25 kilometers northeast of Hobart, Richmond is a kind of living open-air museum. Of all the early settlements in Tasmania, it presents the most complete and homogeneous picture of a Georgian colonial town. Richmond was an important military post. Inmates from the town's penal colony constructed many of the buildings, as well as the Richmond Bridge, which dates from 1823 and is the oldest bridge in Australia. Often seen in the background of bridge photos is the timber top St. Luke's Church, with beautiful stained glass windows. It was so well constructed that the convict carpenter responsible was pardoned. Other historic highlights include Richmond Jail and the well-preserved heritage buildings of Bridge Street. Traveling with kids, one of the top Tasmania attractions for families, the old Hobart town model village recreates life in the 1820s. Number 8. Freysenet National Park World Heritage listed Freysenet National Park on Tasmania's relatively sunny east coast, is one of Australia's oldest nature reserves and one of its most beautiful. Hiking the many scenic trails here is the best way to explore the park. The star of this picturesque peninsula is the perfect curve of powder white sand and azure sea at Wineglass Bay, one of the top beaches in Australia. Wander through pristine bushland to secluded bays and lookouts, or tackle the Wineglass Bay Circuit, one of Australia's top hikes. Along the way, keep a lookout for some of the many birds in the park. Black cockatoos, kookaburras, and seabirds are just some of the resident species. Take the 20-minute walk from the lookout to the southern end of Wineglass Bay to admire beautiful views of the hazards. Three striking pink granite crags rising out of the sea. The peaks are best photographed at sunrise and sunset when their color deepens in the golden light. Number 9. Three Caps Track Starting and ending in World Heritage listed Port Arthur, the stunningly scenic Three Capes track slices through more than 48 kilometers of awe-inspiring wilderness in Tasman National Park. A boat delivers you to the trailhead from Port Arthur, where you'll walk along the edge of the continent, with breathtaking views of the Tasman Sea from the cliff top trail. Along the way, you'll walk through pristine eucalyptus forests and windswept heathland, See spectacular dolerite columns rising from the sea. Encounter wildlife like wombats, wallabies, and echidnas, and stay in comfy eco-friendly cabins. Every hiker receives a guidebook with maps and notes about the journey, as well as stories to read as they sit on strategically placed benches along the track. This four-day, three-night hike is suitable for all levels of hikers, even children. It's one of the best things to do in Tasmania in spring, fall, or summer, although hardy hikers could also tackle it in winter if they dress appropriately. Number 10. Salamanca Place Salamanca Place, with its lovingly restored sandstone buildings, is a tourist hub in the heart of Hobart's historic waterfront. Built by convicts between 1835 and 1860, these beautiful Georgian buildings were once warehouses along the commercial center of Old Hobart. Today, they house art galleries, cafes, restaurants, and shops. Every Saturday, tourists and locals alike flock to the Salamanca markets, where more than 300 vendors sell everything from handcrafted jewelry and woodwork to fresh produce. 
from Salamanca Place. You can also descend Kelly Steps to Battery Point, a picturesque seaside suburb with heritage houses. Number 11, Brenny Island, about 55 minutes from Hobart by car and ferry. Brenny Island is a popular day trip from the city for foodies and nature buffs. The island lies across the Dontracasto Channel from the seaside town of Kettering. It's famous for its delectable gastronomic treats, such as handmade chocolates, local berries, artisan cheeses, and succulent seafood, which you can sample on island tasting tours. South Brenny National Park, on the island's southern tip, offers beautiful coastal scenery, with soaring green sea cliffs, sheltered beaches, and challenging surf breaks. You can explore the park on an eco-cruise or hike the many nature trails. Keep an eye out for wildlife. Fur seals and fairy penguins swim offshore, and wombats, wallabies, and echidnas are often spotted on land. Cape Runny Lighthouse offers beautiful views of the surging southern ocean. Number 12. Mountfield National Park, about 80 kilometers from Hobart. Mountfield is one of Australia's oldest national parks. Here, you can explore magnificent rainforests, tall swamp gums, alpine moorland, and stunning waterfalls. Beautiful walking trails wind throughout the park, which is often dusted with snow in the high moorlands until summer. The short Russell Falls nature walk to these triple-tiered cascades is suitable even for wheelchair users. You can also hike around Lake Dobson, and experienced bushwalkers have a choice of more challenging routes. One of the popular things to do in Tasmania in winter is cross-country skiing, and this is an ideal place to indulge only a 90-minute drive from Hobart. In the fall, the park ignites with yellow, orange, and red-leafed trees. This is also the site where the last Tasmanian tiger was captured in 1930. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and click subscribe. Thanks for watching!